Hey guys, Sweet Nightingale here, and I'm here with the Sweet Nightingale special. Uh, I'm featuring a sim that was uh, created for me by Lollipop Queen, Queenie, however, yeah, Queen with an E at the end, uh, Dorina. <laughs> anyway, so I have her sim in um, the house here, and I'm in Hidden Springs, and I just picked a pre-made house like in the uh, town here, but this is what it looks like, and I did... Um, I did kind of uh, finagle a little, you know, cheat for her to, to get in there because it is my regular gameplay and I, uh, for different things, I will use a cheat, you know, in my regular gameplay. So, yeah. Anyway, this is, uh, I think it was a modern mansion or something that was right in Hidden Springs. So let me just show you what the house looks like first and then I'll show you the sim and we'll play with her a little bit. Okay, so the house has... Um, now it's only got like two bedrooms, so um, like when she gets married and have kids and stuff, we're gonna have to make like some more bedrooms and stuff. But we'll start over here. We have a nice pool area out here, um, out back, and with a little pool house uh, kind of in here with a shower, a sink, a toilet, and all that stuff. Uh, here is a little eating area, the grill, so you know we can have some parties and stuff outside and cook burgers and stuff on that grill. Plenty of room to have like a garden and stuff. And I think I'm going to put in a little basement, like I said. But anyway, there is the pool. Um, up here, starting here would be, let me just tilt it a little bit so we can see. This is a little um, seating area entryway out into the pool. Just a nice place to sort of relax. Little sunroom, I guess you could say. Very, very nice and bright and sunny. Now here is the huge dining room and kitchen right here. Plenty of room to, to do things. And yeah, I, I like this a lot. And I think I'm probably going to put in like, a, you know, the deep fryer and, and um, there's a microwave in it already. A food processor it looks like or a beverage maker or something. Yeah, so there's there's actually quite a lot in this place already. I do need to put in a burglar alarm, which which I will do that as soon as I get done showing this house. Here is a little living room area, kind of book nook, I guess. Yeah, a little sitting area with TV. Um, yeah, just a little sort of... Uh, it looks like a little magazine rack, doesn't it? But yeah, um, just sort of a little decoration kind of kind of thing here. Oops, I wanted to kind of zoom in on that. Yeah, a little, looks like a little magazine rack or something. But uh, yeah, they can just and sit and read, listen to music, you know. Uh, let's see, upstairs. No, I didn't change very much in this house. I just added a couple of things. I took out the tub and added like the shower bathtub kind of thing, the shower of power that... Uh, I can't remember what that came with, but anyway, I did add that. Uh, we have a uh, bathroom. We have like two bathrooms in this place. Well, actually three bathrooms considering the out bathroom with the, with the pool area. So there's one bedroom. Each bedroom has like a little seating area, a little reading area kind of place. I added, um, this came with the laptop computer, but I took that out and added the Mac, uh, the iMac, which is custom content. Over here is, and I added the, the grand piano, little seating area here, added the chemistry lab station. I took out the treadmill and got the better treadmill and um, put in the martial arts stuff. Over here is, I believe that this is gonna be the big master bedroom here. It's got a TV on it, uh, little chairs to read. Uh, really cute, really cute. Again, um, another bathroom, and I, I just took out the uh, bathtub and put in that uh, shower area. Um, but yeah, it's got plenty of room to be able to do stuff with. Um, I'm going to make a basement, I think, and just kind of put the the stairs just sort of like in a little corner, make like a little secret lair or something. Because I do eventually want to take her to France and stuff. And, uh, you know, get some nectar and all that good stuff. And so we get nectar. We're going to need a nectar basement cellar. Now, um, the Sim herself, um, like I said, she was made by Lollipop Queen. Um, but anyway, here she is. Now, the hair, I don't think, um, I think she used, ooh, I think she used custom content hair, which didn't show up in my game. Um, so she had, like, this really awful, like, default looking style. So I changed up her hair. Um, made her blonde. I think she was meant to be blonde and stuff. But anyway, her name is Sharon Swallow. <laughs> so she named her after me. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is her everyday 
Um, I'll go ahead and have her change into her her formal wear so you can see that. Okay, there is her formal wear, very cute. And let's go ahead and have her change into her um, athletic. Okay, there's her athletic for working out. Let's go ahead and change her into her um, sleepwear. Okay, there's her little sleepwear, very cute. Let's go ahead and look at her swimwear. All right, there is her swimwear. Uh, cute little sunglasses and stuff. But anyway, the hair that I put her in is custom content, um, you know, that I had gotten from the Sims resource. And uh, yeah, yeah. So that is pretty much her house. Now, <coughs> I am going to go ahead and put in the 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 uh, casino and stuff and um i'll go ahead and make that basement and do that a little bit later and uh, probably play this as like a current household or something and show you what i do after i get that done but for now i think she's got you know enough to do just to kind of get her started now her traits are let me just go over that for you her traits are she's got a good sense of humor great kisser uh good dog person and friendly so yeah we um you know we're going to be able to make friends with the dog very easily so we can do that her favorite music is classical which is my favorite music uh egg rolls i love egg rolls and uh blue i love the color blue <laughs> so she kind of did a lot of the uh, favorites that i had and stuff her lifetime wish is oops her lifetime wish is golden tongue uh, golden fingers and so that means she has to master the guitar skill and the charisma skill so uh, I got her a tablet and uh, yeah I might even put out a tree of prosperity or something out here for her but let's go ahead and um, now I'm not sure what career that I want to have her in and stuff so I might just kind of have her do like some adventures and stuff first and go traveling and all that good stuff but you know maybe she can be a writer or something like that because I love to write stories um, or, you know, we could have her be a singer, uh, you know, since I am a singer myself, but then I'd have to put down like all the venues and all that good stuff, which I could, I could actually do, but yeah, we can, we can think about that later. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, for now we'll get her martial arts skill up, athletic skill, get that guitar thing up and yeah. So what we're going to go ahead and do is let's play with her for a little bit. She, let's see, let's go ahead and have her... How about we work on the guitar skill? Let's go ahead and have her just work on that um, play alone, that guitar skill. She's like in her swimwear. Actually, before we do that, let's let's go ahead and put her back in her everyday. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back to everyday. There we go. And then let's go ahead and work on this uh, guitar skill. Okay, so we're going to, come on, we're going to play alone. Okay. So here we go. She's going to go over here to um, a guitar spot, I guess. <laughs> so, yep, we're just going to... She also wants to discover a potion. She wants to master the. She wants to learn charisma skill and take a class in it and stuff. And then she wants to jam with another sim. Not right now. Maybe later, honey. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just uh, let her do that. Put that on speed two. I will give you the link to uh, to Lollipop Queen's channel so you can subscribe to her. She does different things on her stuff. It's mostly Sims related and, and whatnot. Um, I think she does a lot of Sims 2 and whatnot and stuff. But yeah, um, so I will give you that link. Now, um, I can just kind of talk a little bit while she's doing this. Um, 
one of you like had a question you wanted to enter, enter my house contest and I, I had said before to like if you're going to use some custom content like from the Sims resource to show me the link and stuff that way I can kind of take a look at it and um, you know I, I uh, um, anyway <laughs> they were they were saying that they don't really remember like where that is um, like you know where it was that they got or where like you know what the link is to download it from so um, I'm gonna just you know have you guys just dispense with the links and stuff because if you're like me and you have a lot of stuff you don't really remember where um, like whose page it came from or whatever you know just that it came from the Sims resource and she has an introduction to guitar um, so you know as long as you guys like test it out and stuff and make sure it works in your game because I don't want to put you know I've got enough glitches already I don't want to have um, <laughs> I don't want to have like some glitchy furniture or anything, so just make sure that uh, you know you test it out in your game and tell me if it works and stuff, okay? And um, yeah, and all right, yeah. So you know that'll work. That'll work definitely. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, house contest. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Um, yeah, um, I ended up taking out some of my content because I'm um, trying to get rid of some of the glitchy uh, clothing items and stuff that I have. Um, and the most part is I have like a glitchy swimsuit that got set to toddlers and stuff. And I think that's why my my babies and stuff got glitched out. So um, I deleted a few things last night and I really, really hope that I got it covered. I really do. <laughs> I really, really do. Um, and I think maybe, maybe that was why like in my legacy family why my portraits were just going pitch black because I had painted portraits and stuff before in my game and yeah okay you got to have good light in the room and stuff and um I'd had her had him paint portraits and stuff before and the only thing that was really wrong with them was uh the camera like the picture was off center and so I just kind of had him redo it and stuff and the portrait the shading itself was okay um it had never gone pitch black before so it was really weird and um but anyway, um, I will have a little update on that for you. I did actually get that to work, and I just did some of that off camera, but um, I will um, end up showing you that when I get to that point. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, um, somebody mentioned yesterday about Lucky Palms, and I can't remember who it was, and I, I had said... Um, Oh yeah, I think it was Peace, Love, and Pop-Tart that mentioned Lucky Palms. And this is before I knew about the new world that was coming out, uh, which is called Lucky Palms. <laughs> and I am going to be getting it. They're going to be having a live stream on it, um, I think this Friday, tomorrow, or yeah, this Friday or something, or tomorrow or something. I want to say like the 21st or something, they're going to they're gonna have that. Um so yeah, um, look at, you know, go to the Sims 3 and look under like news and stuff and I think it'll talk about a live stream or something that they're supposed to have on it. Um, but yeah, that's supposed to be coming out, I think, on Friday. Um, okay, I think the live stream is tomorrow and then I think the world is actually coming out on Friday, if memory serves me correctly. And I, I hope I'm right, but yeah, um, we can look for that Friday. Speaking of live, st live stream, I did watch the live stream on the Sims 3 Supernatural. And it was pretty good. I mean, I was a little disappointed in it because, like, they, they, um, like, you know, people were having questions that came in and they're like, well, we can't really divulge this. We can't really divulge too much about that. We can't really say too much about this. Um, but they did show off the werewolf quite a lot. Um, there's going to be several, uh, supernatural types, which, um, when you, when you go into your creative sim, you can press the supernatural button and, um, you can, you can make your sim a supernatural. And they have, like, a werewolf, fairy, witch, um, and something else. Um, vampire, I think. Um, so, yeah. Um, but they did show off the werewolf quite a lot. They had a female werewolf, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and, you know, they showed off some of the interactions with, with that. And um, it's pretty cool. I think I'm really going to like the werewolf. Uh, they did show off what the fairy could look like in Create a Sim. They showed off like the little fairy wings and stuff. They didn't really show what he or she could do. They just showed her in Create a Sim and, and put her in like one of the new outfits and the fairy wings, which is really cool. I love the fairy wings. I really do. So I think that's going to be one of my favorites too. Although I really wish they could have shown her a lot more, um, you know, than what they did. I would have liked to seen her um, a little bit in the game. 
Uh, we did see the the witch. Um, they made like a, a they called him a man witch, <laughs> man witch. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would just call him a wizard, I guess. But uh, yeah, so they showed him a little bit, and he was the boyfriend of the werewolf Sim. Um, but they they like when you're making your witch, um, they'll kind of wave their magic wand a little bit, so you can do spells and stuff with a magic wand. Um, I would have liked to seen that a little bit more. They showed off the alchemy station where it had, it, it had like a big what looked like a big uh, old 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 like spell book with a cauldron and uh, you would look up what you want to mix up in the book and then um, mix it up in the cauldron and you got to have certain ingredients to be able to do that but there's a lot of things that you can choose from there's like temporary things um, things that would um, have permanent effects on a sim um, like you can turn someone into a temporary zombie which they actually showed they turned the uh, man witch into a zombie <laughs> and another guy into a zombie so they kind of showed the, the zombie a little bit and said that that one, particular one was temporary although you can make um, you can make uh, permanent zombies from the alchemy station you just have to have the the ingredients but f from looking at it they've got a lot of things that you can choose from a lot of things that you can choose from um to be able to do that um she's not really getting hungry or anything we're just gonna let her play while i talk but um yeah so you can do all kind you can make like all kinds of um uh El elixirs that's what they call them is uh, elixirs and um it just has like different effects on things and and that um but they showed the zombie uh quite a lot um now they went over like what was going to be in the limited edition and which is going to have like the pea shooter the um plants versus zombie stuff so if you pre-order it you get the limited edition one which is which is what i did i put my order in yesterday and then if you get it from origin though you can get the you know they they said that there's like a um zombie decor pack which um which has like different things for your house there's like a lantern a zombie gnome um uh, a couple of other things and uh, you just it's kind of like um it's there's like two themes of it. I, it looks like there's like four items and two of them are like your four zombies. Zombies are welcome on your lot. And there's two of them that's like no zombies. You know, we don't like zombies. Stay away um, or else we'll kill you, you know, kind of thing. So um, if you get your um, if you get your thing through Origin and pre-order it, then you will also get the decor pack. So here I am doing like a little sales pitch. But, um, you know, um, those of you that didn't see the live stream... Um, you might want to check that out. Go to the, uh, live, uh, live stream, live stream uh, slash, um, yeah, live stream .com slash electronic arts. And you can watch the video that was put up yesterday because I do have it archived. So if you're confused about anything I've said, you can go and watch the live stream. It lasted about an hour. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I liked it, but I wish they could have shown a little bit more. Uh, it's going to come out September 4th. Um, and if you pre-order, like I said, you get the limited edition, which has the Plants vs. Zombie stuff. And if you get it from Origin, then you get the, uh, the decor pack, um, which is what I'm going to get. Because <laughs> I put my order in yesterday from Origin. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm looking forward to September 4th. Oh, um, and they are going to have, like, a lunar cycle. So you're going to get like full moon effects and stuff. And um, so like on nights where they're going to have a full moon, the werewolf is going to have like a forced transformation. But any other day or night or whatever, you can have the werewolf um, transform at will if they want to. But on the full moon, of course, they transform. Um, it's a forced transformation. And um, it looks like there's like clouds and stuff. So I don't know. They kind of hinted that there's going to be like um, environmental things like... Um, yeah, environmental things going on because somebody noticed the clouds. So I don't know if they're going to have any kind of weather. It would really be nice if they had a weather system incorporated in it, but I don't know. I can only speculate and just say, I hope so. I really, really hope so. Um, but maybe not, you know, just the uh, lunar cycle. Um, and strange things, I guess, are going to happen on the nights of the full moon where, you know, they said that Sims can act a little crazy kind of thing. And they're also going to have, um, they said that they're going to have, like, population settings where, like, when you go into your town or whatever, you can you can tell the game if you want to have uh, the supernatural things populate in your town, like the fairies or vampires or witches and stuff. And I think you can tell it what you want it to populate. or And if you don't want it to populate at all, then it won't. Um, so, I mean, there are settings for that. So... 
which is nice because I know like in late night, the vampires just tended to really go nutso, like, you know, just out of, out of control. And the more you got into your game, the more you played your town, the more you played your game, um, it seems like everybody was turning into a vampire. So it will be nice to um, have that population control to be able to um, set that to whatever you want to do. So um, yeah, I like that. I, I like that a lot. So anyway, that's pretty much uh, what I know right now about the whole thing. <laughs> Um, looking forward to getting the uh, Lucky Palms World, and I'm going to be watching the live stream on that. Um, I will do a special when I get that. I'm not always the fastest on the uptake with the, with the new news, and I, I really should be better at that, but I eventually do find out about it. So um, I, will get, I will be getting that world when it comes out, and I will show that to you guys and do a little special on it and put a sim in there or something. Yeah, so I'll be looking, be looking for that when that comes out. I will definitely be doing a Let's Play on The Sims 3 Supernatural when it comes out on September 4th, because uh, I'll be doing that the day of. Uh, so yeah, just a lot of stuff to be looking forward to. A lot of stuff to be looking forward to. So yeah. Um, anyway, I think I've pretty much covered that, covered all of that. I've talked a lot. <laughs> I've talked a lot, you know, while they were playing, while she was playing guitar here. And, uh... Anyway, the, the game is going to crash. So apparently I've still got something in there that makes it crash randomly. I don't know. <laughs> we got to see her just a little bit. If you, if you want to see a little bit more of her, yeah, if you want to see a little bit more of her, we can do that. Actually, what I think I will do is when, once this figures out when it's going to crash and stuff, I will, I'll cut out. I'll bring up the recording again and we'll just kind of play with her just a, just a tad. Okay, so just hang in with me, bear with me. Okay, guys, here we are again, and uh, yeah, um, we're going to have to get her guitar skill built back up, but I fired up the game again, and we're just going to let her work out, um, and then we're just going to let her listen to a Charisma tab cast, and we'll let her discover a potion, but yeah, we'll just kind of play with her a little bit, and um, we'll, just see, we'll just see how we get here, get her athletic skill, uh, but yeah, I think I pretty much covered... Um, Everything I was going to cover that I wanted to talk about, I was like talking away and my game was like frozen and oh gosh. But anyway, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just glad I didn't have to start the video all over again and, you know, uh, that I was able to salvage that and just kind of add on what I need to add on. So we won't make this too much longer. We'll just kind of maybe get her through a first day. And um, now as you can see, you know, because this is sort of my regular gameplay... Um, she's got the tablet, she's got the, I got her laptop, and now you can go into the buy debug mode and get these two items here, the, or not this one here, but the, the Sands of Understanding and the Legendary Axe of Pongo. Um, we went ahead and just, I just, you know what, I just did that, I just got the, I just went into the buy debug mode under Tomb Objects, and, um, I just got that, so, um, she'll have that for when she goes traveling, and, and, um, I think I'm probably going to work up to getting her to the prepared traveler uh, lifetime happiness point so that uh, so that she can stay for six days instead of just three. Uh, she's got an introduction to athletic. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be probably one of my current households, and um, we'll see what we can do with her. Yeah. We'll just put that on speed two while she works out. Basic workout. Yeah, we'll just let her have a basic workout. Now she's going to get kind of stinky and smelly and stuff, so she'll jump in the shower after she's done, and then we'll get her something to eat. She's got athletic to level two. Mm -hmm. So she's almost done with that. Put that on speed three while she finishes that. She's almost done now. Sneaker. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, phew, I smell now. I smell and I'm kind of hungry. So she's going to go ahead and listen to her tab cast. We'll get her a charisma point. So she's going to go ahead and take a shower. Actually, she's going to take a bath, I think. Yep, 
you're going to take a bath. A bath is always nice, you know, for sore muscles, you know, when, when you need to, uh, you know, when you need to uh, unwind. And then we'll just, uh, now this kitchen is really nice. I think they got some pretty nice appliances. So we're going to have her, oops. Okay, and we decided to fr freeze. Okay, have brunch. We're going to go ahead and let her have some uh, autumn salad. There we go. We should get like, yeah, I think we have a beverage maker and I think we should get like a food processor or something. So, and I might get the uh, ice cream thing. I like the little, I like the little uh, decorative jars and stuff like on the counter. It just really adds that nice touch. Oh, no, 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 girly. You need to eat your, you need to eat your uh, salad here. Here, eat your salad. Eat autumn salad. You know, it's really weird. They just, you know, they, uh, yeah, they, they make it and then they don't want to eat it. <laughs> She's fatigued. Having a blast. Beautifully decorated. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she's comfy and squeaky mm. clean now. Mm. Mm. But I'm telling you, she really needs to listen to this tab cast. Um, charisma. Yeah. Yeah. Really need to listen to that. Because you wanted to get that charisma thing up. Oh, come on. And she's just going to chat with someone here. soon. Ooh, there we go. Gonna have to pee soon. We'll get her put to bed and you know then um, maybe we'll do some martial arts or something and then I think maybe uh, we might just go off to China for our first visit or something so yeah. But anyway, like I said, The Sim was made by Lollipop Queen. And, uh, yeah, Lollipop Queen. And I will give you the link to her channel. Um, you can download The Sim for yourself. But, um, you know, I don't think the custom content hair is going to make it into it. So you, if you don't want the really ugly looking, like, default style, <laughs> then um, you'll have to, you have to change up the hair. But, huh? yeah. <sighs> now, I customized her. I customized her computer. Wriggle! Uh-oh. The heck. Nebla. Yeah, I customized her computer, so it's kind of got like a little print on it. But yeah, what's what's wrong with her? Um, she wants to buy a washing machine. Not right now. I don't know if I want to do laundry right now. She's fatigued. Yeah. Um. But yeah, she's gonna end up having to pee soon. Actually, she probably should go. That just that just sounds like so nice and peaceful, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and use. We'll go ahead and give her this bedroom over here. So when she's done, then she can go ahead and go to sleep. She's like, oh, I feel better. I feel so much better. All right, so we're just going to let her go off to sleep. I could have had her use her other bathroom, but that's okay. Yeah. So, okay, guys, I think this is uh, pretty good for her first day. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see more of her, just let me know, and I can play with her a little bit more. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to have her as a current household kind of thing anyway, but, um, let me know if you want to see a little bit more of her. We can, I can show a little bit more of her to you on camera kind of thing. 
And uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it. And if you want me to do a little bit more of these, you know, just tell me uh, because there's a lot of things that, that um, I could totally feature, like, you know, just different houses I like that I've downloaded and stuff. So, but she's about ready to get up here pretty quick. But yeah, um, I have, um, you know, a bunch of different houses that I that I downloaded that I would love to feature and, and um, you know, like Sims for my Create a Sim contest and all that good stuff. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. And if you want to see more of these kinds of things, I can do that. Just tell me. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. And let me know what you think of this video. Uh, favorite it and like it. Um, leave me a comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, so you guys have a great day. And stay cool, stay safe. And uh, as always, happy simming. Bye, guys.